Mr. Buddy Heater keeps us nice and warm in here. Got some LED lights that I put in. They're very nice and they don't use a lot of power either. And there's my camera. And some spare batteries. You need lots of batteries when you're doing this. And there's the laptop. And there's the tripod. This is the camera that I use for astrophotography. It's got a 14 to 35 millimeter lens. Mostly I use it at 14, which is 28 millimeter equivalent. It's very fast, it's an F2 lens, so I can work with F2, 20 second exposures at 1600 ISO. That seems to work the best for me for star photography. Now, what I do is I set the camera to take 20 second exposures and wait for two seconds and make another exposure. I use this cable release. It's just a very simple wire. Push the button here, you get one exposure so you can check your focus, take a look at it. And then when you're ready to do your burst, you just put the button down, lock it down like that and wait. Either time it with my cell phone or with a watch or just count the exposures. You want about 90 exposures. It takes a lot to count up to 90, so you're better off to use your cell phone and use that for a timer, or just set the time on your watch with my interval timer. So basically, my main things are extra batteries, a nice warm coat and a hat, because it's gonna get cold out there, my cable release, my camera, and light. Now as I said, you want to just use the red light with this because that doesn't affect your eyes nearly so much. It'll keep you safe when you're walking around. And you still you want to keep that pretty much pointed down at the ground if there's anybody else around there because they're not going to want you ruining their shots. It's amazing when you're working at 1600, a little flash from a light and turns everything different colors. It's really nice to be out with the van and be able to come out in the van, sit here and get warm, look out the window and watch your exposures. Then I can go on my laptop and do some work there and I'll know what's going on. I know that I'm getting my exposures because sometimes things will look great on the back of the camera and then when you check the focus, it's not what you were hoping for. So it's always nice to know what's going on. Another trick is to get to the spot before dark Find your shot, take a shot or two with the light so you have a nice sharp picture of the foreground and then you have something else to work with and you have your focus down pat and things like that. So anyway, come on along, we'll show you some of the pictures we made, see what you think. Well hi there. Now this is my favorite photograph of the lighthouse at Rose Blanche. See the Milky Way right behind the lighthouse, off in the distance, the ocean. I really like it. It's a wonderful photograph as far as I'm concerned. Now you do get a lot of noise with digital photographs and with no light. I mean, we're shooting at F2 at 1600 ISO and so don't have much depth of field and you get a bit of noise, but it is what it is. So thanks for visiting Bellas Vistas. Come on back again soon.